Hi, everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new healthcare program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hey everyone, it's Wendy K. Laidlaw and as always, I hope that this podcast finds you well. I've been away over the past few weeks, not on a holiday per se, but more of a work away as I finalised the second edition of my cookbook, which ended up being a complete brand new book in the end. I revamped all the recipes, updated everything, and it went from 101 recipes and it's now burgeoned up to 131 recipes. So you can tell that I got somewhat excited and carried away and also out here to record my audiobook version of how I ended my endometriosis naturally. Creating anything, especially a book or a cookbook, requires such love, dedication and commitment, which is hard to do in my apartment in the city of Edinburgh, with entry phone systems buzzing with deliveries and an enigmatic, somewhat energetic 12-month-old chocolate Labrador called Poppy and my two frisky cats. The interruptions become plentiful and my patience is tested to its limits. Then my perfectionist part and pusher part start to become more frustrated as the time zooms past and there's little to show for my interrupted efforts. So a work away was planned and it has been glorious. Unfortunately, the sun worshipping part of me was a little gloomy as the sun in Spain was not burning through sufficiently on the clouds as much as I would have liked for this time of year. You know, for my book writing breaks, of course. But to have the uninterrupted peace and flow and preparing and writing was delightful. I admit to liking to track my progress in any endeavour I put my attention to, whether it's healing my endometriosis naturally or writing a book. So to be able to get a good run, uninterrupted, and be able to finally send off the contents and photographs to the editors and designers for my cookbook felt euphoric. I am so super excited for you all to receive and read the second edition cookbook when it's published next month, just in time for Endometriosis Awareness Month. We've had recipe contributions from Endoboss alumni, Endoboss beginners, and even my darling son, Sebastian. I wanted this book to be a book that can help guide to eating in a new way, whilst also answering some important questions that come up for many women with endometriosis. Unfortunately, there is a lot of misleading and misinformation out there online about what to eat and what not to eat for women. And I wanted to share what has worked for me and still continues to do so after six years. So I hope you will enjoy experimenting with the 131 recipes when it comes out. But I will keep you posted here when it is officially released. But I do want to share that having had this time away, getting into flow and tuning into my instincts, I've had time to contemplate and I felt inspired to share a very special Galentine's gift that I have for you. You see, Valentine's Day can be somewhat of a mixed bag of licorice all sorts for many women. The marketing departments across the globe put intense pressure upon the men to bestow gifts and flowers to their wives, partners and girlfriends, which is all fine and well, but I know of many women who are single and find this time of year somewhat depressing if they do find themselves single, happily single or not. So I want to offer you a different show of love for yourself this Valentine's Day. It's called a Galentine's Gift from me and the Endoboss team. You see, far too many women are suffering awful, endless period pains and endometriosis symptoms out there month in, month out not knowing that there is an alternative route. So I want to incentivize women to come together at at the beginning of their journey in a healthy, self-caring capacity to learn what true self-care is all about, but without the shame or guilt 
that is normally associated with women when they spend any form of time together on themselves. The 21 Day Unstoppable Endables Challenge has brought so many women, over 108 now, great joy and peace and relief from anxiety, as well as some physical improvements too in a matter of a few weeks when they learn how to increase their awareness and self-care routines. And I want to make this as affordable as possible so there is zero excuse for giving yourself real lasting love this Valentine's Day. So on Monday the 14th of February 2022 for one day only, I will be reducing the cost of the 21 day unstoppable endables challenge by over 50% from 197 down to only 97 pounds. You will learn how to pay attention to your feelings in a whole new way. Learn the messages your emotions are trying to tell you. Identify the 10 types of tiredness and how to eliminate them. Understand and notice what anxiety is really telling you when it shows up in your body. How to get connected to your own inner guidance system. How to be aware of toxic people and to avoid them. And how to start to get a deeper insight into what is going on inside your body and why. And it even comes with a money back guarantee. So you can try it for seven days and if it's not for you then I'll refund you. You see, this Galentine's gift is a gift that keeps on giving long after Valentine's Day has come and gone and has the gift of giving you long after the 21 Days Challenge is even completed. I know this for a fact because the 21 Day Challenge is where the majority of my Endoboss alumni and Endoboss coaches have come from and I would dearly love that for you to follow them. But first things first. I just want you to get a sniff and a whiff and an inkling of what is possible in 21 days when you're immersed in a safe, nurturing, positive and empowering environment with other women. The information and education you receive from me each day in my pre-recorded educational webinars helps to uncover and unravel some of the mysteries of the emotional elements of endometriosis and most importantly, give some practical support. What I call learning the tools of titans and the habits of heroines, or rather endobosses, but that previous phrase has a nice ring to it. So this is an advanced warning. Please mark your calendar and make sure you check your emails on Monday or indeed your spam box. And if you haven't already registered with me for updates, then you can go to healendometriosisnatri.com and at the top you'll see you can register for the free top five quick start tips. And my team will email out the very special details for Monday only and how you can get this discount for 24 hours. This will be my Galentine's gift for you, which I promise you will have a much nicer aftertaste and impact on your body than any chocolate could do. So make sure to take this leap into the endoboss pathway in a super safe, positive and nurturing environment. I promise you'll love it. I look forward to meeting you in the 21 Day Challenge, but until then, to your health. Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one for the world needs a healthy you.